Hello and welcome to a new devlog video for Peasant Uprise. While playing the first two levels time and time again, I spotted a few things that I felt needed to be addressed. First of all, I had totally forgotten to include mushrooms in the UI interfaces for the market and the inventory. Mushrooms will be used in the alchemy station to brew poison, which can be used against enemies in some situations. Another annoyance that I spotted was that when your peasants were a bit tired, I had to travel all the way back to camp to get them to max energy again. This was not a good player experience to have to travel through the level just for that, and it just didn't make too much sense either. So I added the option of resting in the field. Pressing the R key will toggle this state. While the option to drink medicine or tea is available in the peasant profile, I also added it to the peasant information panel. The reason behind it is that once peasants arrive to camp, the profile changes to indicate what job the peasant is assigned to, but then you lose the option to drink a buff. I also felt it would be convenient as you cycle through peasants and check on their statuses to decide whether to give them medicine or tea right next to those sliders. I already have a panel that manages general peasant options, so I think this action fits well there. It also recognizes when a battle is active, in which case your peasants will not be able to rest. In this case, the panel is a bit in the way, but I anticipate most to just use the key shortcut, so I'm not too worried about it, but the key shortcut needs to be added to the button text. As it seems to be the case at this stage in a large project, it takes completing one task to find out something else that needs changing, because the key binding in these buttons is hard-coded. So if you change your key bindings in the control settings, it will not be reflected in this button text. I also spotted that I haven't decided on the shilling amount to distribute. So yeah, this is a good example of the state of the project where you solve three tasks and you create three new ones. It's a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie to you, but that's part of game development. There are just way too many things to keep in mind and as things change, others need to be adjusted accordingly. The biggest change of the week was the addition of Logan, a new NPC. Logan comes from the fighting lands of Roiland, but decided to head south to a more peaceful life. The reason why I'm adding this NPC is because there wasn't really an easy quest in level 2, and it just assumed that you would know what you need to do to prepare for battle. Logan will now help in getting the player what he or she needs to be successful. While playing the second level, I noticed that while the peasants were working at camp, it seemed a bit slow paced, but changing the speed in which tasks are performed was not an option, because it would render professions pointless. See, a woodcutter would cut wood faster, while others will take longer. And time is an important factor overall, so time spent at camp needs to be significant for the player to wage their course of action. But there was no reason why game time could not be sped up or put back to normal as a whole. So that's what I've added using the bracket keys. Currently, there's no UI buttons to handle game speed, I guess I will have to create that, but I don't really want to pollute the HUD too much, so I'll have to think about this one. 
I would like to know your thoughts whether every action in the game should be presented in the HUD or whether sticking to just shortcuts is okay. Please let me know in the comments. Still, the code is there to handle game speed now and it's tied to a shortcut. So that's it for this week, nothing super exciting, but polishing and working on the smaller details and features is still necessary and a big part of game development. And I'm also glad that I'm really trying to concentrate on the player experience and adding some quality of life helpers. If you like my content and are interested in the game progress, Please subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications of future uploads. Thanks. With that said, I'll see you in the next update.